News. All right, Phil Kelly in for Bill tonight. And yeah. for those of us hoping for rain, boy, it, it hit some places torrentially. And we then got others, some. where I live, we, nothing. You nothing got very for me little. Either. Really? You didn't get any nothing. where you were at? Well, nothing. where it came down, as you said, it really came down. And uh, we had some strong winds. We had a little bit of damage here mm -hmm. in the uh, Columbus metro area. But for this evening, I think for the, for the rest of the evening, we should be okay. So uh, where we're seeing most of the rain is off to our north. Let's take a look right now at first warning Doppler radar. See exactly what I'm talking about. Notice here in Franklin County. We are dry. Now, I can't rule out an isolated shower. I think any kind of widespread rain is going to be fairly unlikely now. Let's take a look at where we are seeing some of these showers, especially off to our east now, right along I-70 here as we get into uh, Muskingum County. Came out pretty heavy here from uh, Coshocton County. Started to weaken as it rolled through uh, Coshocton County. Lots of lightning, uh, some heavy downpours, some flooding rains as well. We'll talk about how much you saw in just a moment. Set, uh, some heavy rain right now in the northern part here of Knox County, right over Fredericktown, still to the north of you folks here in Mount Vernon, but it is headed your way, probably about 20 minutes away from hitting you in the uh, city of Mount Vernon. Here's where we can see all of the rain. How much did we get? Well, Doppler estimates anywhere from about one to three inches of rain. Two inches here in Morrow County, over here into northern Knox County, we had almost two inches and almost three and a half inches here into uh, Richland County as we uh, see 3.4 just to the north of Mansfield. So when it came down, it came down uh, quite Quite hard and we do have some flood warnings still have a severe thunderstorm warning to talk about for about another nine minutes into uh, Morrow County in the red area here northern Knox County southern Richland County back over into Ashland and Holmes County until 930 tonight a flood advisory for parts of uh, Crawford County Marion County Morrow County and the rest of central Ohio in the green here at least Franklin County and areas to the uh, south and east we're under a, under a flash flood watch that's because like I said the atmosphere is still ripe for something uh, but I don't think it's going to be very likely. Look at these temperatures where it has rained. Look how cool it is in Coshocton. You're at 69 right now. We're at 86 here in Columbus, nearly 90 into uh, Kenton. So where it was dry, temperatures soared. Where we saw some rain, we're into the uh, low 70s. Cyrus and into Mount Vernon into the low 70s. Future cast, trying to paint some heavier storms as we roll through the rest of the evening. I think it's a little overdone here. What it's picking up, some of those uh, showers coming out into the of the uh, north and east of Columbus will continue to go into southeastern Ohio. I think they'll, they'll weaken. We could see a hit and miss shower for the rest of the evening. Once we get to sunset, then everything will calm down. Really, uh, the atmosphere kind of loses the energy from the sun once we get past uh, sunset. And then we're fairly quiet overnight as well. Once we get into tomorrow, I think your morning looks dry for everybody. It's not going to be like the, this morning where we had storms in the morning and then storms again in the afternoon. I think we see some storms tomorrow. It's going to be in the afternoon, mainly between about 2 and 7 p.m. Once this uh, tropical air mass continues to sit over us and really bubble up those storms once again for tomorrow afternoon. So an isolated shower for the rest of the night. Temperatures slowly fall into the upper 70s by 11 o'clock. We're going to keep the uh, same forecast really for Wednesday and Thursday. Friday looks to be a fairly dry day. Temperatures still going to be up near 90 to start the uh, weekend. A cold front comes through on Sunday and that's going to cool temperatures back down. Look at that guys. By Monday and Tuesday, we're back down where we should be with highs back into the low 80s. All right, Phil, thank you. Coming up, taking big.